week one of the hashtag level up challenge and this one is called polishing your trumpet so what do i mean by this and this guys it literally means blow your own trumpet now a lot of people get really really icky at the feeling of blowing their own trumpet about this whole idea of someone who stands up for themselves bigs themselves up is some kind of tall poppy so <laughs> we one of the things i really want to drill down into you guys is the fact that you have to get okay singing your own praises. You have to get okay putting yourself on camera. You have to get okay putting yourself on social media. You have to get okay talking about yourself. It's not obnoxious or egotistical to talk about you. It is an absolute necessity of running a business. Now, those people who tell you, oh, you're so big headed because you're always on social media, they're not business owners. And guess what? They're probably not successful people at all either. They're not going to be because it's not big headed and egotistical to talk about yourself your services and what you can do for people it is a fact that you have skills and knowledge it is a fact that you have a business that delivers great service and if you are not standing up for your own service if you are not standing up for yourself and your skills if you are not saying you are great and your services are great who the hell is going to and how on earth do you expect your customers to be able to say that you're great if you can't even say that about yourself it's madness so Guys, and that was a little bit ranty there, wasn't it? But this is how passionate I am about this. You really, really must back yourself. You have to believe in yourself and you have to be totally okay with pushing yourself out there as the authority in your particular area. Because if you can't be seen or heard by your customers, they simply cannot buy from you. If they don't know you exist, they cannot use your services. If they don't know you exist and they can't hear your advice, they can't see what you have to offer, you can't change their lives, you can't help them, you can't serve them so you have to be out there and nobody's going to do that for you guys I very um, openly say this to people quite a lot of the times um, that a lot of the awards I've won I've won because I nominated myself is that ego I do have a little bit of ego I'm not afraid to admit that but no it's not ego that I won the awards or that I applied for myself it's not egotistical that I nominate myself it's the fact that I had done something that I felt was worth rewards for that was worth recognition for and I am not going to sit around and wait for somebody else to give me what I deserve I'm not going to sit around and hope that someone will build my business for me I'm not going to sit around and hope that someone will give me what I need I'm not going to sit around and hope that someone will praise me and clap for me and pat my back and give me the recognition I deserve no I'm going to give that to myself because I'm the one that got me this far and I'm the one that is responsible for getting my business where I want it to go, for getting myself the life I want, for bringing myself the income I need. Only I can do that and only you can do that for yourself and your business too. So we've got to sing our praises and I challenge you now, go and nominate yourself for awards. Put yourself up, celebrate you because your customers cannot possibly follow suit. If you're not singing your praises, nobody else can either. So Polish up those trumpets, <laughs> start singing your praises and uh, start fertilizing that soil that your poppy is growing out of and shine bright my friends because I'm cheering you on all the way. You've got a lot to give the world and uh, absolutely I am here to support you and cheer you on. Those of you that are really on your side are going to be the ones that are going to make that happen for you. So good luck, get trumpeting, um, I'm cheering you on. Bye -bye.